Holland. You deserve this honor. You have earned this honor. Especially because you made a choice. You made a choice to focus the brilliance of your star power for the good of others. I mean, I'm talking about hunger, family, disaster relief, education, advocacy, mentoring, use, I could go on where energy is boundless, hombre. Oh my goodness. Oh. Oh, uh, I am I am so incredibly thrilled to be standing here today to honor my friend Lynn Manuel Miranda. Uh, this, I mean, this is a huge deal getting a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Um, out of all the you know, awards and honors that Lynn Manuel has won in the last few years, this is easily in the top thousand or so. Um, I mean, this, this is right up there. This, this is somewhere between. Winning the MacArthur Genius Grant, being the answer to 33 across in the Des Moines Register Sunday crossword puzzle, somewhere, somewhere right in the middle. Um, I should give you some background on our, our relationship. I, I first met Lynn Manuel uh, a number of years ago. We both decided it would be fun to to write something together. We were actually toying around the idea of writing a musical together. And um, Lynn came to my house and we tossed a few ideas around. Uh, nothing, nothing really gelled at the time, and these days, as you may have noticed, his dance heart is slightly full. Uh, but I'd like to think that sometime in the next 40 to 45 years, we'll think of something to, to do together. We'll, we'll figure that out, and I think it'll be great. Um, but that's not, that's not really where our relationship started. As it turns out, Lynn Manuel was, Lynn Manuel was actually a big fan of mine when he was a young kid. Um, he told me a great story about one time when he and his friends uh, saw me went, back when he was a teenager that came to my show at the Beacon Theater in New York City. Uh, Lynn and his friends were on the balcony, and my band and I were on stage. That definitely usually works in these concert kind of situations. Um, and uh, you know, we did we did the main part of our show, and we walk off, and the crowd's cheering. And right before we come up for our encore, Lynn from the balcony yells, "Yoda, do Yoda!" And then uh, moments later, we walk out, and in fact, we perform Yoda. Not because we heard Lynn yelling from the balcony, but because we always end the show with Yoda. <laughs> Uh, but this blue young Lynn's mind he was like, I made that happen! I made him sing that! Anyway, fast forward two decades, and now Lynn Manuel Miranda is singing Yoda with me on stage at Radio City Music Hall. And, uh, and everybody in the audience is losing their minds, and truthfully, I, I was too a little bit. Um, Hey, let me, uh, let me tell you a few things which you obviously already know about what a wonderful man this is. Uh, I was told by the Chamber of Commerce I had to keep this speech down to just three hours, so... Um, I'm just going to go over a few of the main points. First of all, and this goes without saying, he's gifted beyond words. I remember the first time I saw Hamilton. Um, let me casually drop the fact that I saw that the public theater... across the street, I see you too. Hi, hi. Hello, Caddy Corner. I feel like I'm dreaming. Uh, I'm going to kind of do this. Is that okay with you guys? Um, my, first of all, I want to thank the Chamber of Commerce for this incredible honor. I want to thank Rita Moreno and Weird Al Yankovic. If you would ask me when I was a little kid, what do you want to be when you grow up? I would have said Rita Moreno and Weird Al Yankovic. <laughs> um, so to, to count them as, as friends is one of the all-time great joys of my life. Thank you so much for being here. Um, my first job in LA was in this theater. I played Usnavi in In the Heights. In the first national tour, um, I lived at the W across the street. I ate at the Waffle House down the street from there. 
And, um, you know, it's funny, I, I grew up in New York City, so... Yay! And so did she. And so my, my first interaction with Hollywood Walk of Fame was honestly when people passed away. It was when you leave, you would see flowers being left on the stars when when someone had a passing or untimely passing, and that's my first relation. It was a distant thing from somewhere else, from possibly accomplished people, and a way for everyday fans to honor them and pay their love and, and tribute to them. And so, fast forward to me performing in this incredible theater, and it means the world to me that my star is outside this theater because I love it so much. In the Heights of Hamilton, we're both here. When I was performing here, my, my lyrics were, I'm trying to remember them. Lights up while walking to heights up at the break of day. I wake up and I got this little punk I gotta chase away. Pop the grade at the crack of dawn. Sing while I write down the awning. Hey y'all, good morning. Probably never heard my name. Reports of my fame are greatly exaggerated. Now listen. <laughs> The reports of my fame are still probably greatly exaggerated. But the fact that there is a star marking where I got to say these lines is, I, I cannot tell you uh, what a dream come true that is for me. And my family is here. My wife is here. My youngest son is sleeping inside. Um, and it means the world that they're here to share it with me. Um, it's... It's an incredible day. I'm trying to soak it all in. And and here's the thing about these Hollywood stars. They're permanent. And I, I have realized on my way here that there's no small part of my work that is about legacy. Um, Hamilton talks about it a lot, right? Yeah. What is a legacy? a legacy? Planting seeds in a garden you never get to see. But we get to see this star every day. Yeah. And, uh, and one day they'll put flowers on this stuff. <laughs> but not today. <laughs> today we all celebrate. Yeah. Today you guys came from miles around. Yeah. I have seen you on Twitter figuring out how to get out of work so that you could be here. You have sung your kids to sleep with Moana and your Theodosia and Alavanza. And that is the greatest joy of my life, to write music that you then carry with you into your daily lives. I can think of no greater honor. I am so glad we're not laying flowers today, but we're celebrating. And uh, it is one of the great days of my life to be here with you all. Thank you so much for making the effort. I love you very much. Let's unveil the star.